What's up everyone? Welcome to the channel. Ironbug here. Now I've been itching for a game that looks like Skyrim VR and plays like Skyrim VR for like a really long time. And I think I might have found something to scratch that itch. Today, I could be looking at a game called Dragon Hill VR and it's available on Steam VR. I'll have a link to the game down below. I'll be playing it on my Quest 2 using Airlink. If you guys enjoy what you see here today, please remember to hit that subscribe and like button for more VR, AR, and mixed reality content. Alright, Dragon Hill VR is an open world medieval RPG game that gives me strong Skyrim vibes from what I've seen and read on the Steam page. It's got a fair sized map where we'll be exploring castle type zones, villages, forests, lakes, and many other types of areas on the map. It's got a character leveling system where we can upgrade our stats. Uh, it's got melee combat, range combat, magic, and it's got a variety of different weapons you can use and a bunch of different spells to learn. There's tons of quests to do. There's apparently hidden NPCs you can find to get other quests as well. It just sounds amazing. And you get all of this for under $7 Canadian. Now, this game sounds absolutely amazing on the Steam page. So let's dive in and see what it has to offer. All right, guys, here we are inside Dragon Hill. Now, the tutorial is pretty interesting. It starts off, you're inside a very modern, I don't know if it was a condo or a house, but it was beautiful looking. And it ends with you picking up a book and it opens up into this. So I don't know if there's going to be like other adventures, maybe like a cyberpunk one or something as well. But yeah, it's definitely check out the tutorial on this. It is cool. I'll try to include it if I have time, but I don't think so. This is a big game. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so it looks really nice. Not all the items are interactive. The ring mechanics are great. The grabbing mechanics were great. Oh yeah, look at that. There's some physics there. There we go. All right. So we have an inventory button. Ooh, that looks nice. Can I break glass? Oh, I love breaking glass. All right, so the outside road's looking pretty. It is nice looking out here. This is a good looking game. And we have a nice house. Look at this. We're just outside the village. We won't hear all the partiers. All right, so our first quest is to find Lewis. And the green arrow is going to lead us to Lewis. Foliage looks great. Trees look nice. I'm liking all the little details. All right. Now this game is a little bit of a graphic hog. My system is well above the specs it requires. And I still have to run it on medium. And I'm still, I don't know if, yeah, it'll definitely show up in the video. It's, it's a little choppy. Oh, right there, that's the tearing. So it can definitely use some. Garrett, the blacksmith. All right, Garrett, I'll remember you.
look at you. you. You have some pretty good detail. Yeah, you worked that sword, baby. You know where Lewis is? No? No, Lewis? Alright, um, I'm gonna go this way. I hope he's on this side of the big stone wall. I'm like in the back alley or something. It's giving me Skyrim vibes. Oh, there goes the tearing again. Another guard. You get a fancy helmet. Oh, look at your shield. Yeah, that's right. I'm looking at you. I wonder if those turn on when it's night. Alright, so it looks like I found the market. We have Eric, Whatever the potion merchant. The answer is no. So you've been living in denial all these years. If you do this, these people are dead to me. by the elves, so they can no longer and walk in daylight. The market's alive. Of wrath and justice. Oh, can't splash in the water. Alright. Um. No, you're Eric. I want Lewis. Where you at, Lewis? Hey, do you too? Oh, apparently Lewis is this way. Oh, you look like a Lewis if I've ever seen a Lewis. And you're Lewis! Look at you, buddy. You got a quest for me. Ah, magician Charles. Oh, he's gonna teach me magic? Doing that one for sure. Alright. Charles, where's he at? Alright. Um, I'm going this way. I think he lives in this here windmill. Look at that, there's even shadows coming off the blades. Very nice. Yep, there he is. Oh, looks like he's a bit of a drinker. A drinking wizard, eh? My good man, I heard you're gonna teach me some magic. <laughs> you are a drinker. You want me to collect some wine and kill some pigs? Yeah, all in a day's work. All right, let's collect your wine. I'm hoping it's the wine downstairs, and you're just too drunk to go down the ladder. Whoa, you're gonna teach me missiles? Except for sure, I will get you drunk tonight. Climbing feels great. All right, is this the wine? Yes. Needs three bottles. Not three cups. No, sir. He's a three bottle man. Got your booze, buddy.
Alright, so I got a new spell. Alright. So why do you want me to kill the pigs? Are you hungry? Ah, uh, they're destroying the crops. Pesky pigs. Alright, well, I got a sword, a dagger, a bow, and you just taught me some Arclang missiles. So, I think I can kill a couple pigs. After all, I gotta kill a dragon. If I can't handle a pig, then this world's doomed. I have not seen a pig yet, though, so, uh, I'm gonna take it they're probably out there. But let's open up the quest and bring up the tracker. I kill five pigs. Rockthorn. Ooh, he's gonna teach me another spell. Alright, the pigs are this way. Oh, there's a road going into the mountains way over there. There's the piggies. These guys don't look like you're hurting anything. All right. Now I know how to equip weapons, but I don't know how to equip magic. Is it a button? Not a valid magic spell. So I must have to appoint. All right, character. There we go, magic spells. As a slow moving missile. I don't know if it'll even hit the pig. Oh, I gotta charge it. Don't run away from me, Mr. Piggy. Ooh, you dropped some coins. Piggies of coins. Alright. Ooh, I think it's my magic. I'm almost out. Right in the butt. Come back, piggy. I think I leveled up again. All right, so we're gonna have to take these guys out the old fashioned way. Where's the bow? Okay, there's weapons. There we go. Oh, where'd my bow go? Oh, I think it went back into my inventory, yes. Nope. Nope. I hope I have unlimited arrows. Okay, so I need to switch hands with this. Alright. Oh, I think I got him in the ear. I did. Run, little piggy. Right in the butt cheek. All right, how many more are these cute little guys I got to kill? Oh. I'm a bad shot. Oh. I'm gonna get you, little piggy. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah, right in the cornhole. Alright, one more piggy. You're my piggy. Don't run from me. Okay, you're my piggy. Ah, why could you stand still a little longer? All right, so now I need to put this away. Can I grab it in the air? No. Be nice to have the inventory on both hands. All right, he was in the windmill. 
He's probably drunk by now. Getting a little loaded. Yeah. Thank you, my good man. So I learned some magic from a drunken wizard. What do you got for me next? Find William. Find noble William. In the castle? Alright, seems like I'm on a long quest this time. Where is the castle? I figure it's going to be tall. Let's get out here and see if I can spot it. I know I can use the quest tracker to find it, but it's a lot of fun finding things on your own too. Okay, I only see mountains. Where is this castle? All right, quest finder it is. The farmer is famed for his fine wheat crops and his beautiful golden So the castle's wine. that away. Don't be um, scared. I need to I get outside of that brick wall first. The outsider makes home in the center of the big city. The vagrant is pursued by shadows. Oh, this but is not the real way. Or imaginary. Ugh. A shy paranoid. All those scholar will hold William the Noble. All right. I know I'm going way off track to what this arrow says, but there's a big brick wall around this town, and this brought me outside of it. And there's a road over there, so I'm hoping that leads to the castle. Traveling at night. I hope there's not like wolves and stuff. Well, actually, it'll be kind of cool. Oh, we can run. Ooh, you run pretty quick. There we go. I knew these roads were for something. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of Skyrim vibes from this. But this game is priced really low. So if you're looking for something that's going to give you Skyrim type vibes, but don't want to break the bank, this is... I'm liking this. It needs a patch for this graphic, so, because that or they need to up what the specs are. All right, and maybe some road signs. Okay, there's the castle. Do my hands cast shadows? No. Ooh, it's a big castle. I gotta find William in there.
Now there was guards all over in the town, but it's just a big open door here. What's this? Oh, a fast travel point. Sweet. I remember they said that in the tutorial. All right. Um, I guess it's like the rundown part of town. Smith Nelson. I already got a torch, bud. Ah, there's the guards. Alright, so I'm taking it to William guys probably deep in the castle. Can't take the axe. Potion merchant. Yeah, so he's over here somewhere. Oh, I think I got to go to the circle. Are my friend. You saw wear that hat. It's it's not a charming hat. Holy crap, you got a lot of things for me to do. So there's the dragon that we gotta kill. I think red means I'm not ready for him yet. Did I meet a Nelson? Find key B. Find Anna. Well, we're gonna look for Anna. What's Anna? Alchemist Anna. I did believe I ran into an alchemist. All right, later, noble. Is that a very medieval name, Jason? All right, so I gotta go back into this. Oh, there's another teleport over there. Oh, I'm close to my wall, my VR room. All right, I'm gonna bring up the quest finder because I do not remember where Anna was. You, sir, do not look like an Anna. Yeah, I found you, Anna. How you doing? Ooh, you got like a potion in your hand. Kill forest wolves. Wolf bone, of course. You can't have an experiment without wolf bone. Ooh, I don't know what that is, but that looks cool. The vagrant is pursued by shadows, but are they real or imaginary? Alright, the there was a portal over here. Here we go. Alright, now to find the wolves. Wow. 
Wow, this is big. Look at all of this. There's a good size of map to explore here. that away. No, I think the wolves might fight back. Shadows coming from the trees from the sun setting. It's nice. There they are. All right. I want my dagger. Nope. Sword, yes. I don't need a shield. Um. Why is it not hurting you? Oh, you're hurting me though. Okay, let's put that back. There we go. We'll kill you with magic. So the melee's not working for me. I don't know why. I'm hoping I have enough magic to kill these guys. So if it's green, I'm not on target. If it's red, I'm good. Oh, wow, a three hitter. Oh, I don't think I have enough magic left. Um, yeah, keep back, back, back. No. I need a weapon here. Why won't the melee work? took my weapon away. Oh, that's great. So it's got some issues here. Push the wrong button and your weapon goes away. All right, where are you, wolf? Why? Yeah, the melee just doesn't work. It's like I'm swinging right through them and nothing. Stop eating me, Mr. Wolf. Okay, I'm aiming with my wrong hand. Where you at? Oh, I can't aim right this. Yeah, I gotta drop this and pick it up with the other hand. Two more. I'm at 3.4 health. All right. Um, I think I'm going to die before I hunt these wolves. You 
Lucky the melee isn't working for me, Mr. Wolf. So that was Dragon Hill VR. Um, I don't know. I, I think it's pretty good. I don't like that the melee didn't work for me. I I would have beat those wolves if the melee worked. I don't know why it didn't work for me, but yeah. If that would have worked, those wolves would have definitely been dead. But other than that, um, only having the inventory on the one hand made it really awkward to take the bow out because when I went to grab it with the other hand it would load the bow so that was inconvenient so the, I'd like to see loading on both hands or an easier way to grab and aim the bow so I could switch the hands quicker because that that was very cumbersome um, it had a few graphical problems where the whatever was to my one side of the view which ban over and they glitch sometimes and I'm running way above the required specs so it needs some polish there but other than those things the quest for fun the game was fun the world was nice the graphics were beautiful I love the light effects that were in the village I love that the villagers were gossiping and stuff um, it, it felt like a nice game especially for well, as I said under seven dollars Canadian and I'm pretty sure when I look at where it says developer, I can't remember the full name, but it's Eric. It's just a person's name. I think this is a one man show or a one person show game. So this is pretty impressive for the price. It's gonna need some work, but it just came out. And I I think it's worth the seven, like the, the price it's asking for. You got nothing to lose at that price and it's pretty good right now. It just needs, yeah, it needs some work here and there. Like the better inventory system, um, easier handling of the weapons, but like picking things up off the ground and stuff like that, that was easy. Uh, climbing and stuff that I did through the tutorial, super easy. Swimming, super easy. All the mechanics were nice. It's just the melee didn't work for me. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, if you're looking for a Skyrim type game and you don't want to break the bank, take a look at this. It's Dragon Hill VR. It's on Steam VR. I said it's got some bugs in it right now. Like it's, I think it's really demanding on the computer. I was running it on medium settings and I was still getting glitches. The melee not working and stuff, but. These are things that could be hammered out and worked on. And at the asking price right now, I think it's a fair price for what's being offered. And it's it's scratching at that itch. It hasn't fully scratched that Skyrim itch, but it's scratching at it. And uh, I think with some more updates to it, it can really get that itch for me. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And until the next VR adventure, cheers.